Hello everyone and welcome back. So we just got the reveal of the Red Hammer squad in Rainbow Six Siege and earlier this week we got the reveal of the Viper Strike squad. Now before we get into this, just want to remind people that we're so close to 40,000 subscribers so if you are new and do go to enjoy this video be sure to drop me a sub, it's free and if you don't like me you can always unsub in the future. So yes with the reveal of these two squads we now know every squad in Rainbow Six Siege, the four in Team Rainbow and of course Night Haven. So I'm going to be explaining all of these squads, every operator which is in each of these squads and what the purpose of the squads are. And of course there will be timestamps so if you want to skip to your desired squad you can choose it through that. So we're going to be starting with Nighthaven. Now Nighthaven is a private military company that was founded by Kali. She was born into a very wealthy family in India. She had an interest in martial arts and she actually wanted to enlist in the military because of this. However when she learned that women weren't actually allowed to serve in combat units she used her money and started her own security company in India. This eventually evolved into a private military company Nighthaven which operated overseas. And the success of Nighthaven can actually be credited to a lot of the inventions by Osa, which really put Nighthaven against the competition and made them stand out when it comes to quantum concepts and robotics. Now in 2019, Harry Panday, the director of Rainbow Six, enlisted Nighthaven to work under Team Rainbow. This of course brought Kali in as an operator as well as many other Nighthaven operators. However, years later, Nighthaven cut their ties with Team Rainbow and went back to being a private military organization working for themselves. However, at their time in Team Rainbow, they actually influenced a lot of other Rainbow operators who eventually left Team Rainbow to join Nighthaven. So Nighthaven it goes as follows. Kali as the leader, Osa, Wamai, Ace, Aruni, Ella, Smoke, Thinka, IQ, Pulse, and Grim. This is the Nighthaven squad and they are a private military organization and they operate on their own terms. And it was actually when Nighthaven left Team Rainbow is what caused the next four squads to actually be formed inside Team Rainbow itself. So the first squad we're going to be talking about here is the Wolfguard squad which is actually led by Doc and it contains Twitch, Montang, Lion, Castle, Bandit, Frost, Ying, Clash, Nomad, Malusi, Thunderbird, and Sense. Wolfguard was established by Harry and Sam Fisher to be the world's for most humanitarian military unit. When Wolfguard are working on a job, collateral damage is not an option. There shall be no civilian casualties and the only people that are harmed are the ones that are a necessity. This is why Doc was chosen as a leader as he is a very humanitarian operator, there must be no collateral damage and you must save as many people as possible. This is why he actually had quite a feud with fellow GIGN operator Lion because Lion was quite on the opposite side. He actually didn't really mind collateral damage as long as the job was getting done. So it's actually really interesting the fact that Lion was placed on the humanitarian squad, so it seems like Lion has probably changed his ways under the guidance of Doc. So Wolfguard is the humanitarian squad of Team Rainbow. The next squad we have in Team Rainbow is the Ghost Eyes squad, which was established to be a covert espionage unit. Ghost Eyes works in the shadows with secrecy and only strikes when it is time. Ghost Eyes is led by Kavera, a master in stealth and interrogation, and it contains the following operators. Glaz, Valkyrie, Vigil, Zofia, Lee, Vision, Nook, Warden, Maverick, Mozzie, Ayana, Sam Fisher, Flores, and Solace. Ghost Eyes contains the operators which are necessary in going undercover and playing their enemy from the shadows. With the addition of operators such as Sam Fisher and Nook on the team, it's no wonder that this team was constructed for this reason. A lot of operators on this team are very skilled in going undercover, in spy work, and also using technology as well to their advantage. We have seen this when Nook actually went undercover and snuck onto Nighthaven's base, and as well as this, when Ghost Eyes actually confronted Kali on Nighthaven's base, we could actually see that not only was Solace and Cav there, but the rest of Ghost Eyes were actually there undercover and only revealed themselves when it was necessary. So if Team Rainbow are on a mission which does need it done silently, quietly, but effectively, Ghost Eyes is their team. So the next squad we are going to be talking about is Habana's squad, Viper Strike. Viper Strike is Team Rainbow's diverse and versatile support unit, which acts with surgical precision, discipline, and excellence. Viper Strike consists of Thatcher, Mute, Rook, Blitz, Jaeger, Capitao, Echo, Jackal, Mira, Dokebi, Maestro, Alibi, Azami, and the brand new unnamed Year 8 Season 1 attacker. So Viper Strike is a support unit of Team Rainbow which will be there at a moment's call and without this squad a lot of the other ones probably would not be able to operate at the same level of efficiency. However as a team they still can hold their own and brings the high quality of expertise precision which you would expect from Team Rainbow. We're still actually yet to learn a lot more about Viper Strike, but it's going to be really interesting to see what part they play in the current piece of the lore. So next up we have our fifth and final squad in Rainbow Six Siege, which is Thermite Squad known as Red Hammer. Now Red Hammer has got to be my favourite squad so far in Rainbow Six Siege, we've only just learned about them, but I theorised that this was going to be the hard hitting frontline brute force team, and I was completely right about that. Red Hammer consists of Blackbeard, Cade, Gridlock, Tachanka, Fuse, Capcan, Buck, Sledge, Ash, Oryx, Thorn, Goyo, and Amaru. 
They are in fact the brute force frontline operators, just like what it says in the description. Red Hammer is not known for its delicate touch. When they are called in, all bets are off. They tear down anything and eliminate anyone that stands in their way. They are unshakable, best suited for high risk operations where casualties are all but guaranteed. And if you want to put it in other terms, Red Hammer are the polar opposite of Wolfguard. They are the old guns of blazing squad. And honestly, for that reason, they are my favourite. But don't get me wrong, I actually love all these squads in Rainbow Six Siege. So just a quick recap, Wolfguard are humanitarian, Ghost Eyes are sneaky and in the shadows, Viper Strike are the support squad, and Red Hammer are the hard hitting brute force frontline squad. I'm really interested to see where the lore is going to go. Of course, these squads were also formed so they can do their own things without having to be one massive team anymore. This is also to help counteract growing crime rates around the world. But yeah, the way they interact is really cool. Of course, we've actually seen Wolfguard and Ghost Eyes interact when they were infiltrating Nighthaven's base. Sense from Wolfguard and Nook from Ghost Eyes actually got to the door. But Sense actually went back and they actually stopped Nook from killing someone. You know, that's the humanitarian part of Wolfguard. And I'm sure that we're going to see that with a lot of other operators and squads mixing as well. I can imagine Viper Strike is probably going to be seen alongside Red Hammer as well, considering that both of their reveals happened for the same season for Year 8 reveal. And it also does make a lot of sense as well if Red Hammer are the frontline squad, they're probably going to need a support squad behind them as well, so Viper Strike makes sense. Of course, as well, we're yet to see in the future if these squads remain. I do honestly have a feeling that these squads will probably be a permanent thing from now on in Rainbow Six Siege lore. I think it just gives more of the operators more meaning rather than just being an operator thrown into a team of 60 people and kind of being forgotten about. It honestly does make it very believable that when you get a team of specialists this size, a lot of them are going to be broken up and put into separate teams with more focus on what they're good at. And one thing to note as well, at this point in time, Wolfguard came with a new operator since Ghost Eyes came with a new operator Solace. The next season, Year 8 Season 1, the new operator is going to be part of Viper Strike. Brutal Swarm as well actually had Grim joining Nighthaven as that season. So the only squad who is yet to have a brand new operator join them is actually going to be Red Hammer. So I'm going to expect that Year 8 Season 2 is going to be a Red Hammer themed season and the new operator is probably going to join Red Hammer. But this video is also before the Year 8 cinematic as well. We do not know what's going to go on down there. It could be something major. I think it is going to be a massive cinematic. I do believe that we're probably going to see who this third hidden enemy pulling the strings between Team Rainbow and Nighthaven is going to be. Anyway guys, that is all I have for this video. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about all these squads in Rainbow Six Siege? Did this video help you understand the difference between all of them? I hope it did help. So be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, dislike it if you did not, subscribe if you are new. We are almost at 40,000 subscribers. Have an incredible rest of your day guys. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace. Thank you.